Warning, this episode contains strong language or mature themes. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to this podcast is Uncalled For. What's uncalled for? What are we doing with you? You met a girl, didn't you? I was like, oh, how did you know? He's like, oh, because it always happens. It always happens. It's the only stupid reason that you would ever drop down to see because of a stupid girl. And then look, thank you, Black Phone. Oh, was, that's going to be great for the football charts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can um, think of a hundred right off the top of my head. Is a genre. So it just uh, a lot happens behind the scenes that people don't know about. Like it, it's hard for the average voter to understand how much of what they think is their democracy is decided by faceless people uh, to them. You know, you and I know who's making these decisions. There you go. This, these are the kind of discussions we we have. Fortunately, we're both fairly level-headed people. Again, we're looking at each other in the eye. We're not going to say anything derogatory to the other person. And, of course, neither of us is drunk. Take me to gay spot with you. It's yeah. a bit of a slap in the face and insults. And... But you didn't even give a chance for a wild card spot. And the <laughs> yeah. look on Mike's face. They love big boys like you. <laughs> Kind of, what is that character from Guardians of the Galaxy who takes everything literally? <laughs> the, the people are out there like they could have taken it literally. Yeah, we're crazy people and we love what we do. And so we just keep creating regardless of how hard it can be sometimes. Thank you. And thank you for letting me, having me on your podcast. Oh, absolutely. And remember, uh-huh. you're you. <laughs> that is uncalled for, Michael. And now, your host for this podcast, Mike Chernefsky. I have a lot more on this tape. Here. Listen to this. Well, so the name of this podcast is Stuff Uncalled For? This podcast is Uncalled For. Okay, all right. Well, and all y'all, yeah. subscribe, and like, and comment, and subscribe. Yeah. yeah. I said it. Fuji. Welcome everyone to the podcast. Uh, hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, so today it's a, a real treat. It's another Shine Mission West Viking a mini reunion and all that, and an invitation for more Vikings um, to uh, come on the podcast at some point uh, and uh, do this. So, we're getting more to sports side of things today. Because um, uh, today's guest was a, a teammate of mine on the football team. And I finally get to talk about the Ski Dogs intramural basketball team. A little context. Senior year of high school, I uh, started an intramural basketball team. And yes, named it after myself, the Ski Dogs. And uh, we had a, a little rivalry with a, another all-senior squad called BSO. Unfortunately, we didn't play each other, but we wanted to. Uh, uh, and there were uh, about there were eight teams total in the the uh, intramural league that year, five of which had seniors, but those were the only two that were all seniors. Uh, of the other teams, I think one was called Jeremiah and the Bullfrogs. There was one called Money, who the captain was my locker mate. And uh, there was an ROTC team as well. And the faculty always fielded a team too. So, let's give it up for number 31, Big C himself, Carl Fletcher, here on the podcast. <laughs> There 
There we go. So, Big C, how are things? Hey, man, just uh, just trying to live the good life over here. That's all. Good. Um, hey, you're calling in from uh, where are you calling in from? I know it's out west. And yeah, right now I'm right here in um, what city is it? Calamity Falls, Oregon. All right, cool. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. All right. So, uh, you know, like we we're discussing before, uh, I uh, uh, start recording. Uh, you are the fourth West friend that I've had on the podcast. <laughs> so, Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get more of you guys on here. <laughs> Come. It's fun. And it's I'm free. Sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure a lot of people would want to do it too, Mike. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've been trying and uh, got some names in mind. So um, let's get it done. Um, so what are you doing nowadays? Man, just working. I work for a um, an ed tech company that I've been with for about the last four years. Um, mm -hmm. You know, manage a, a pretty big team and travel around quite a bit. And, my clients are graduate programs for universities. They use our testing platform. So that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's very what cool. What about yourself? Well, uh, doing this podcast and uh, making movies, and uh, in terms of paid work, I work with the Kansas City Chess Club. I'm a chess instructor and tournament director. And I do a little thing called uh, DoorDash. Oh, DoorDash action. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I um, got that out. Sure. Yeah, I've got. And uh, I've done a few other jobs uh, uh, before then. I was a security officer for a while. I cleaned floors for a while. I was in a warehouse for a while. Done uh, TV work. Man, you, you, you're doing it all over there. Yeah, a little bit of everything. <laughs> it seems shaking, like shaking, uh, shaking, shaking and baking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Anyways, uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Good old Shy Mission West uh, back back in the day. Uh, um, oh, there is one thing I want to ask as you about from uh, West, and that is uh, our. Uh, so for context, for our audience, we're talking uh, senior year. So 1996, 1997, uh, we uh, were on an intramural basketball team. Hey. Uh, the Ski Dogs. Uh, yes, yes, I am that vain, folks. I would name a team after me. <laughs> <laughs> Ski Dogs. Mm -hmm. You got that chip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Jimmer, uh, I wanted to bring the ski dogs into, um, our conversation because I do recall a Facebook post posted on, uh, your page by our uh, good friend, Mr. Ryan Hull, showing, uh, a bunch of, uh, I think it was Ukrainian basketball players, uh, <laughs> playing each other and it was so, uh, God awful. And, yeah. And I was thinking, uh. Oh wait, are always the ski dogs BSO things still a rivalry, even though we never hey. actually played each other. <laughs> hey, we, hey, we we never we never played each other, but there's still a lot of people out there wishing we wishing we had. I know, right? And I'm one of them. I'm one of them. So, so uh, I, I don't know how that would be thirty, you know, 25, 25 years later. I don't know how in shape the, the squad would be after that. <laughs> well, well, that's. Do you remember who all was on the squad besides you and me? Man, me, you. Sure, it was Ebbs and Ebbs was, uh, Ronnie. No, Ronnie was on BSO. Oh, that, that explains a lot about that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ron, Ronnie, you're a good guy. You're, uh, I still want to get you on the podcast at some point. But yeah, you're a good guy, even though we were on different teams there. So. Who else was it? Who else did we have? Uh, 
I got the full roster in front of me right right here in this pad of paper from memory. So we had uh, Kevin Thomas, K-Town, as I came to call him, who was the uh, leading scorer of the team. Okay. Then we had Brad Hoffman, uh, Chris Trujillo. Casson was on the team. Casson was on the team? Yeah, one game. Yeah, figures. I figures that that guy right there. I don't know. I don't know about him, Ski. <laughs> no. uh, let's see. Uh, Real Haas was on the I'll team. Listening to it. Oh, Real Haas was on our team. Yeah. Oh, we were destined to be garbage, but we pulled it <laughs> off. <laughs> and then uh, you and uh, Mike Lisco was on the team. Oh, Lisco was on the team. Mm-hmm. Damn. So we didn't. I mean, we had a, we had a, we had a well-rounded, different, diverse squad. That's for we sure. We did. We did. Then uh, GA, uh, uh, GA, who I have extended an invitation to as well. So, uh, oh yeah, GA was on our team. Yeah, GA was on our team. Uh, oh, I know GA. He, he, that's one of our stars right there. Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah, he'll go, he'll go to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ebbs, as you uh, brought up before, uh, Blair. <laughs> <laughs> why you, hey, why'd you laugh when you said Blair? <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh, what was that thing that Blair liked to do? All the, the... <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Right, that's what got me to laughing. And was thinking about that, and uh, Finley was. Ran at the team. So. Okay. Man, I keep seeing you taking pause drinking. What you sipping on? Water. You sure? Yeah. All right, man. Don't be getting litty. Don't be getting too litty while we on this. We, you know, we don't want you to <laughs> well, uh, well, right now I'm well, right now I'm on the statins, so I can't be a can't really drink alcohol, but since you're mentioning it, I do have some uh red label right here. You on statins? I'm over here on a little. I'm over here on a little bit of indica and a little bit of Jameson right now. <laughs> <laughs> About a year and a half ago, I thought I had a stroke, and yeah. Oh shit! Hey, you yep. gotta act right if you think you had a stroke. Yeah, especially like since you, both like my you parents think have you had one. Are you are you sure you had one? Uh. Turns out I didn't have one, but I had all the uh, symptoms, scary, you know, numbness on the right on the left side of the face and everything. I got really freaked out and drove myself to the emergency room and they kept me overnight and they said, Yeah, you have high blood pressure, you have high cholesterol, we're putting you on we're putting you on uh putting on some meds. So. Yeah. What would you say? What does it do to your face? Uh, it uh, just it was like a tingling of the face, coupled with a, a strange rush that uh, I can't really explain it, but uh, it was it, enough to scare uh, the crap out of me. <laughs> Indica does that to me every single time. I, man, so I might know how you feel a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, and uh, and uh, yeah, I am a uh, pre ass shape nowadays. Uh, so, man, what are we gonna do? What are we, what are we gonna do about it? Are we gonna get out there and start walking? I mean, what, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I do a lot of walking as it is, uh, but uh, yeah, could you gotta put that, gotta do put, more? Gotta put away that put away that Taco Bell, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Leave that Taco Bell alone. Uh, Why well, have been? I have been trying to eat better too, oh, not just the taco. <laughs> tofu nachos. <laughs> just the taco. <laughs> uh, what, else you, what else you eat? What else you eat, Ski? <laughs> trying to eat a lot more salads and uh, just generally trying to eat healthier. <laughs> so. what, what, what were you? What were you eating before you was eating these salads? What was you getting into? <laughs> Lots of fast food. Let me hear it. Let me let me hear. It. Let me hear. It. Let me hear a normal day of what you would get busy with. Um. I don't think I have a normal day anymore, yeah, actually. But uh, on a 
typical day, let's just say that, get up, uh, probably do some uh, DoorDash, and then uh, go to uh, the club, go to a club, because uh, with the chess club, it's uh, after school programs, and we actually go to the schools. I thought she was talking about dance, and I was like, damn, but well, go ahead, my bad. Yeah, I, yeah, I gave up on dance clubs a long time ago. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, um, but and then uh, yeah, and just go home. And if um, probably limit myself to two or probably two meals a day. So where would right you now? go? Like, what, like what would be like most spot? You get, like you go to Popeyes in the afternoon and you go to KFC in the evening. Like what was the combination? Um. So, uh, lots of McDonald's. Okay, There's okay. A, uh, With the Big Mac, are you a Big Mac guy? I've uh, since switched to uh, primarily chicken. Okay. Uh, I do a lot of chicken sandwiches. Uh, there's actually a McDonald's sharing the parking lot with our chess club office. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, next time you're uh, in the area, it's uh, I-35 and Shoto Traffic Way up north. Okay. Right, is our office, and uh, yeah, we we're in that uh, we're in a little office building behind the gas station, and share the parking lot with a McDonald's. So, right, right, right. But uh, but yeah, nowadays I try to eat more salads, uh, uh more uh, seafood, like grilled trout. Is like any like seafood, like whatever you see, you eat it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, like a uh, grilled trout is a big one yeah, right now. Um, uh, keep in mind, I am half Cajun, so uh, shrimp is a must. So, okay. Yeah. Let's talk about that Cajun part. So you, so you, you be seasoning the food, right? <laughs> I try. I try. Uh, you got more. You got more than just salt and pepper in your cupboard. <laughs> uh, I need a set. Stay away from the salt um, right now, but uh, but yeah, pepper, uh, heck, cayenne pepper at times even. So okay, yeah. don't get crazy with me with the cayenne now. Right, right. But yeah, yeah, Cajuns. We like we like uh, food spicy and everything, uh, but it's not too spicy. You know? yeah. You want, you want to be able to be able to taste it and not be burning up. Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah. And and uh, Cajun food if done right is pretty tasty stuff. So all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh and yeah, this past um, month I've been getting in touch with the uh, Polish side of things a little bit. So okay. um, kielbasas? Yeah, some kielbasa. And I uh, found out there's a uh I actually found out about this a couple of years ago, but didn't get a chance to uh, actually check the place out until last month. The place is called Peter's Mace House of Kobasi. It's a uh, it's on Kansas City's uh, east side. Sounds like, a, sounds like a sausage house. It's a sausage house. They, <laughs> they got sandwiches. Uh, they had uh, the uh, big uh, kobasi sandwiches and everything that very good very inexpensive and i highly recommend the place and then and then two days later was the uh, sugar creek slavic fest at, in a uh, sugar creek you know just just uh, the north side of independence avenue from independence and uh well that's pretty cool and i might uh do that again okay. among uh that part of my people. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's real different. Got the Cajun side over there. Got the Polish yeah. side over there. Yeah. 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 The Polish side, of course, from dad, it's the name. And my mother was the uh, Cajun half. And so. hey, you ever do that um, ancestry or the uh, the me, the me and 30, 30 and me or whatever? Um, so I, I do know a little bit of my uh, ancestry. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm saying, have you done? Oh, have I, I done those uh, sites? And no, not re not Are really. You spit, I, spit in the tube and send them to send them everything. You ain't done that. Not really. I probably should, but uh, I know I have an uncle on my mom's side has been doing a lot of 
genealogy on that side of the family. But, uh, but uh, no, I know I know we have some good uh, genealogy resources uh, up here, and yeah. you and you may recall that I was Mormon. Uh, I converted to Mormonism during a senior year. And uh, oh, you, been, oh, you, you, went over Mormon, you went over to Mormonism? Uh, well, I've since left the church. I currently don't uh, practice any uh, particular th faith, but Mormons are big on genealogy as well. So. But how? But you know what I'm saying? Like when I did it, I did it just this last Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, probably like in January. And man, I, um, it connected me with a lot of family I didn't even know I had, which is kind of crazy. So, you know, I'm sure if you got Cajun and Polish, you probably got people you don't even know about out there. <laughs> I found out about one a cousin of my. You might find out. Died. You might find out them ain't even your parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I did find out about a, a cousin on my father's side purely by accident. We have the same name, so. Yeah. Like the same first name, last name. Yeah, yeah, he's Mike Chernevsky as well. So yeah. he's senior, and you're the and you're the third. Uh, That's so so actually, my genealogy on my father's side, my great grandfather was Michael, and then uh, both my father and my grandfather were Benjamin, and I got stuck with uh, both, but it was a cousin. Uh, I think he's descended from uh, my great grandfather as well. I'm not sure which of my grandfather's siblings he came from, but that that's the uh, that's the uh, connection there. I know on my mom's side. I have one uh, first cousin uh, who I haven't seen uh, since we were children, and uh, have a couple of other. Uh, First cousin by marriage on that side. Well, hey, Mike, you can go to Walmart, Target, <laughs> near at CVS. You can buy one of them little kits. Next thing you know, you'll be like, man, I got family all over I didn't know about. Yeah, and I think that's true of a lot of people. A lot of people. So, but I will, I will give my parents uh, credits uh, for this. Uh, when I was much, much smaller, like even before West, uh, we would often uh, spend our vacations. Uh, some of them, we'd go to Pittsburgh, visit my dad's side of the family, and then we'd uh, go down to uh, Southeast Texas, Louisiana, mm -hmm. visit mom's mm -hmm. side of the family. Okay. Yeah. So kind of got, so kind of got a little bit in touch with the roots there. And, okay. Yeah. So tell me, tell me what's going on with this Cardinal shirt. Oh, I'm confused. So, What's going on with this cardinal shirt? <laughs> you know, I ain't seen you say nothing about no cardinals, and all of a sudden, I'm disappointed right now. <laughs> disappointed. Uh, so, so again, going back to what you knew, you know, I used to be a Ram fan, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, they did something unforgivable in 2016. Unforgivable. Move back to LA. Well, specifically, they lied their way back to L.A. Okay. Right. And then what? So then what's, what's next? So so uh, the seconds that happened, I gave up on the Rams. I'm done with them. Um, it took me a good two years to find another team to pull for. And uh, uh, one of my uh, big criteria was uh, it had to be a team that had me one of the two teams, if we ever found out who voted against that move, I had to be a fan uh, of that team. And one of them happened to be Arizona. So there you go. Man, I thought, like, I could have swore. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the truth. Let me know if I'm lying or not, but I could have swore. When the Chiefs was in the Super Bowl, I saw you wearing Chief shit. And then I saw pictures of you at the parade, jumping around, drinking a beer. That was now not me. That was not prevent Chiefs. Now you over here wearing some cardinal shit. You got me real confused. <laughs> I've never been Chiefs Mike, fan. Tell girl. the truth. Tell the truth, Mike. Was that you? I am telling the truth, man. Mike, was you at the parade? Wearing some I was not here? at the parade. 
In fact, I was, sure. pretty pissed. I was pretty pissed that that parade happened because oh, that meant no. my chess clubs got canceled. And I canceled wanted the to go Hold up. that day. They, I couldn't. They canceled the chess club. They, can, they canceled the motherfucking chess club. Yeah, I I would rather Hell be no. in, I would Hell rather no. be going out to Blue Springs teaching chess than going downtown to see a parade. Mike, I can't believe they canceled the chess club. What in they detail? did? They did. They canceled class uh, pretty much all around, all around the metro. They canceled classes that day. That is that is some bull shit right there. You hear me? It it is. I agree. It is some bullshit. And uh, um, so I wound up just uh, doing DoorDash that day. Um, I'm sure you made some money. I made some money at least. Yeah. Hey, did so you made some money off the team that you was wearing at the parade, <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe, maybe on accident, I saw the C on the shirt that was red, and I thought it said Chiefs, but the shit said Cardinals. Maybe that's what happened, huh? Wink, wink. Probably, probably they wear the same colors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, and, let, you, I'll uh, let you slide on that one, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, truth be told, I've gotten into soccer in recent years, too. What? You a FIFA boy? Yeah, man. Uh, Who's your team? Don't we, and don't be telling me you pick some team that's already great, winning all the damn championships. You better pick some average ass team, or I'm gonna call you a sucker. Uh, ever have a team called Aston Villa Football Club? Oh, uh, you okay? You good then? They not they they average. Yeah, they're they're average and uh, quite a historic uh, club in England. How'd you uh, how'd you pick them? Uh, well, when I was when I was either going. Well, I can't really say I'm an Arsenal fan because of the whole Rams situation because they're owned by the same guy. Uh, by the way, I've had an Arsenal fan on this podcast, and uh, he's got you uh, beat by uh, several time zones. The guy called in from Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, because uh, uh, I I think much like Tom Hanks, he likes the, I like the name Aston Villa and uh, look into the history of the club and there's a lot there's a lot of history they're one of only six english teams to win the european cup for example okay uh, yeah so you did some research to figure out which team you liked or mm-hmm. you just threw like a, a, a pin on a map and said i'm going with this squad right here <laughs> uh yeah yeah that's a good way but i knew i wasn't gonna pull for chelsea or man united so yeah, it'd be too it'd be too easy to go for those teams. Yeah, it'd be way too easy. So what's what's the color? What's the colors of your new squad? Uh, we're talking about Villa, Claret and Blue. Who? Villa wear Claret and Blue. Claret is kind of a uh, uh, some similar to this, but more purplish. And blue, purplish and blue. Yeah, yeah, oh, and, and sky no. blue. Sky blue, like ba- like like baby blue. Yeah. Oh, uh, with purplish? No, uh-uh. I can't get down with them colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you so gotta, that's you gotta, that's you uh, Europe now. Locally, I've um, you know KCK has a great uh, amateur uh, soccer league and uh, great amateur soccer scene, and I got the shirt of my team here this is oh, santa fe cool. wanderers is the name of this That's club cool sure i've never even heard of them yeah a lot of people haven't but uh santa fe wanderers. yeah santa fe wanderers as in santa fe trail santa fe totally santa fe, pretty much anything around here right? oh they play out in olathe uh they play olathe they'll play kck they'll play at rockers umkc up north they Pretty much play all over the, all over the place. So. Okay, okay. Hey, Mike, Mike, what's the what's the best barbecue spot in KC? Rosedale. Damn. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, I found out about Rosedale during my uh, uh, internship with uh, uh, the local PBS station, and uh, I, I, I think uh, I would say. Rosedale one and one A would be Gates. 
Damn, you, you didn't even flinch when I asked you. <laughs> what about what about Oklahoma Joes and Q39 and you know and Jack Stack and you know all and you know uh, Jack Stack Jack Stack's okay if, if you're doing like a, a big big event or something Jack Stack's fine. Um Joe's and this is just my opinion about Joe's. Um if I have to stand in line for an hour just to order, probably not worth it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Why do people stand in line though? Because uh, they like the food, and that must be some good ass meat. It must be, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And what about what, what about Q thirty nine? Q thirty nine, I have not had, but. Uh, um, there is a, a DoorDash story uh, associated with them. Uh, one of their cooks ordered uh, DoorDash, uh, and I had to pick it up. This is during the whole pandemic, the early pandemic, and they probably rightfully yelled at me for just opening the door, saying, "Hey, I got food here for someone." Like, yeah, go away. Mike, did you have to put them paws on somebody? No, no, no one, no fisticuffs or anything. Okay, which is okay. good. Which is good. I'm trying to be a man piece nowadays. So. <laughs> so what happened? So did, did he end up getting the food or what? what was oh yeah, he got. Did? He still got the food. Hey, real quick, what happens like when you're supposed to deliver the food and say the people aren't there, or whatever, or the address is wrong? Do you get to keep it and eat it? Uh, technically, you're not supposed to, but if someone does drop an order, uh, yeah, if they drop the order, then yeah, it's okay. But, but if you get, and, uh, and I did find this out the hard way, uh, if you get the wrong address, they flag you. You get a, mm. uh, you get a violation and uh, it sticks with you for, but uh, now you can appeal that violation but it sticks with you for 100 deliveries so. all right mike real talk this is a real i need a real answer on this one real answer when doing doordash come on i need 100 percent realness when doing doordash have you ever taken a bite of some of the food or, or taken a little sip of the drink maybe a couple fries come on tell the truth truth no i haven't for real for real oh you're a real one Man, that's nice to know there's people like that. You ain't taking a sip of the drink before? Oh, heck no. Heck like no, that's just, their like drink. Just, no. like, like you was just dying of thirst and like they wouldn't know. The lid was kind of open and you was like, man, let me get a little bit of this Sprite real quick. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't happen. It's not with me, so. Um, You're good. All right. And one of the reasons that doesn't happen is I make sure I don't leave the house without full this thing full of water. So. Hey, I see you drink. You drinking the hell out of that damn bottle. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Are you sure that's water? Because the way you hitting that bad boy, the it's way your eyes, the way your eyes keep squinting every time you take a sip, got me real confused over here. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, I guarantee you it's water. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole right. one over there. Well, we got about uh, about nine minutes left. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah. Now, fun times to be a Kansas City and fun times to be a uh, West Viking. If as uh, yeah, we were talking what's about so soccer what's earlier. So about, what's so good about being a West Viking? I, I don't even talk about that. We were talking now. about soccer earlier, and uh, okay. Yeah, some dude who was a senior our freshman year. Yeah. What happened? Uh, well, he decided to uh, become a comedic actor and uh, came up with a, uh, and just finished a, 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 a series, a, a sitcom series about a uh, soccer coach and uh, based the uh, character largely on Campbell. Oh yeah, what's that show called? Ted Lasso. 
Oh, you, you like it? I haven't. I haven't really seen it. I've seen like a couple of scenes. Um, Hold on, Mike. How are you? I in need. To, I need to see it at some point. I need to see it at some point. So. You got something? You got something against it? No, not at all. It's just I haven't had time to uh, watch it or anything. So Ted Lasso. That's what it's called. Mm-hmm. It's about a soccer coach. It's about a soccer coach. But, um, but he's about our basketball coach. The soccer coach is based on is based heavily on Campbell. Yes, Coach Campbell. Yeah, how's that? How's that guy doing? Uh, well, last I heard, and he got a lot of publicity because of Ted Lasso. Uh, he's now teaching in uh, Lee Summit. Wow, a high school there. Yeah, I wonder is he still coaching basketball? Probably, probably going to, have to look that up. Uh, of course, uh, speaking of coaches, uh, you know, uh, Coach uh, Shelton is uh, uh, getting uh, uh, totally behind uh, lung cancer research and raising money for that. And uh, oh, year, yeah, the yearly goodness. walks, and I've started doing those yearly walks and uh, raising money yeah. for that and it's a good cause that's awesome. and yeah that's awesome. i saw i had a friend who died of lung cancer so so it's really uh, touched me in that way too so. especially as we're getting older man it seems like this cancer is you're just hearing about it through family friends and it's, it's everywhere right now so yeah, mm-hmm. gotta yeah. hold people close right now yep all right, the coach Sheldon, he beat he beat cancer, right? Yeah, he's he he survived his cancer. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Still as energetic as when we were playing for him. So, where's he? Where's he at now? Is he still coaching or teaching? What, I, what's he doing now? I think he's involved with the Raytown school districts in some some way, but okay. I don't know if he's still teaching or. So, uh, Dane, he's the Principal at South. Oh yeah, yeah, Coach PD. Yes, yeah. sir. I see. I see him on social media doing this thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Coach, Coach Dane. I don't think. I don't think Coach Dane ever ages. That man still looks like he. <laughs> he's still in his thirties. Right. Right. That guy. That guy is Maverick off of uh, the show Maverick. Whatever that you know the the the, the Tom Hanks off Maverick. Mm-hmm. Good deal, good deal. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go and wrap things up. Uh, let's make a mission and get some more West Vikings on this podcast. Hey, you know, let's, let them let them know we can make some time. Right. I mean, you know, Ryan Hall, Charlie Evelyn, hey, uh, Nick Hadaka. Yeah. Hey, right. tell them, tell them, tell them, quit hiding. Tell them, quit hiding. <laughs> This is your official invite to the podcast, guys. So, hey, uh, Mike, Mike, Mike invited me like three or four times, and I missed, yeah, missed it, missed it, missed it. Yeah, it'll, I felt yeah, bad. Just, I was like, let's go, this right. yeah. Yeah. let's go ahead and get this in, get this done. Yeah, let's get this done. Uh, uh, heck, Palachek said, yeah, it's a good idea that I'm doing this, and, yeah. you know, we, and it's yeah, not just yeah, West yeah, guys, yeah. not just West guys, you know, it's people from all different walks of life. Uh, yeah. Being invited to come on, yeah. everything. Uh, yeah, it skews towards the uh, local film community, but that's the community I'm in right now. So, so, uh, so yeah, come on, come on, West, West is the best. Hey, let's do it. All right. Quit hiding. Come outside, everybody. Come outside. <laughs> right, right. All right. I'm gonna go and let you go. Hey, see, thanks for being on the podcast and. Hey, good to hear from you, man. Hey, man. Happy uh, early 4th of July. I'm about to go do some camping in these woods in Oregon. And, you know, hopefully I come out all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, do let me know what, when you are in town. And, uh, yeah, go from we'll there. Do so. We'll do it. Be, right. be easy out there on the mic. Be easy out there on the This podcast is uncalled for as hosted.
Produced and edited by Mike Chernavsky. Opening music is I Thought You Were Cool by Holy Isna CC0, licensed under a Creative Commons 01.0 Universal License. The outro music for this episode is Submission by Beat Mechanic, licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License. Please like, share, and subscribe to the podcast through your favorite podcasting platform, like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash uncalledforpodcast, and check out our blog with show notes at uncalledfor.home.blog. If you are in the United States or Canada, you can call us at 816-832-5160. Leave your message or question for us, and if we like it, we will play it on the podcast. Please support the podcast and purchase our exclusive Uncalled For merchandise. T-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, stickers, and so much more. Go to www.cathypress.com slash uncalledforpod. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you next time.